This question is effectively a test of your ability to find eigenfunctions and eigenvalues and deal with eigenfunction expansions. Although you've done this for previous problem sets, it's now for an equation that you can't quite solve in closed form. The differential, or eigenvalue problem, is of sturm liouville form and on the domain between 0 and 1. Notice that although you're given the value of the function at the right endpoint, y of 1 being 0, it's a second order differential equation, and so we expect two boundary conditions. This is due to the fact that the equation is singular at x equals 0, and you see this because the coefficient multiplying the highest derivative is 0 at x equal to 0. The second boundary condition is in fact the restriction that the solution should be bounded. If we expand the ODE, we see that it almost looks like the Bessel equation, except the coefficient of the x squared y term should be 1. Well, what we can do is we can rescale the x variable with an unknown beta. Substituting this into the equation, we see that if beta is 1 over the square root of lambda, then the ODE indeed reduces down to the Bessel equation of order n being 0. Now the two linearly independent solutions to the Bessel equation are given by the Bessel functions of the first and second kind, j0 of r and y0 of r. However, we know that y0 blows up as r tends to 0, so the behavioral boundary condition allows us to set b equal to 0. The other boundary condition, x equal to 1, or r equal to 1 over beta, forces us to set j0 of 1 over beta, or j0 of the square root of lambda, equal to 0. So that we see that in order for there to be a non-trivial solution, then the square root of lambda must be equal to one of the infinitely many zeros of the Bessel function. These zeros we write as alpha 0, 1, alpha 0, 2, alpha 0, 3, and so on. And therefore, the answer to the question is that the eigenvalues are given by lambda k equal to alpha 0 k squared, and the eigenfunctions are yk equal to j naught of square root of lambda k times x. We can make one last remark that because the Bessel equation is non-zero at x equal to zero, then there must not be a zero eigenvalue, and by the Fredholm alternative, we'd expect a unique solution to the force boundary value problem. The second part of the question asks you to find an eigenfunction expansion for a bounded solution to a related boundary value problem again with the boundary conditions of y of 1 being 0 and on the domain of 0 and 1. How is this related to the previous part? First, note that in the standard sturm liouville form, the previous problem had p of x being x, q being 0, and r of x being x. And again, it's a singular sturm liouville problem due to the fact that p is 0 at x equal to 0. Now, let's write the force boundary value problem under consideration by L of y being x. We use the standard trick of taking the inner product with one of the eigenfunctions yk. Integration by parts then gives us the boundary terms, which are zero by the boundary conditions, and the inner product of the adjoint, which is the original ODE since the problem is self-adjoint. This leaves us with the inner product of lyk and y is equal to the inner product of yk and x. We now use an eigenfunction expansion for y. Also, from the previous problem, we know that we can replace lyk by negative lambda k times x times yk. Thus, this gives us the eigenfunction and coefficients ck, which we could have immediately written down using the formula, but it's always good to derive it yourself.